Welcome guys, one more time, this is the recap of the grind series, my name is Chamaco09, I'm here with Alternix, and we're gonna be talking a little bit of what happened on week 3, and what do we think is gonna happen on week 4. So, Alter, thanks for being here, uh, always a pleasure. And we saw, I think, a week 3 that went just like everyone expected, right? We, we didn't see anything that surprised us, so surprised us a little bit uh, too much. Yeah, almost almost every game was a 3-0 actually. There was only one game that went through to a 3-1. None of the of the top 4 teams were playing against each other, so maybe this is expected, I think. There was a uh, two matches that went uh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, only one. Only one that went 3-1. It was a uh, INTZ or INTS versus Orchid. And we expected a good match uh, from those yeah. two teams. We we really wanted to see uh, Orchid bring it up at the table. And I think, you know, they won one match. They didn't do so extremely bad in the other ones. But we were expecting a little bit more uh, uh, from them, I think. Yeah, I think I think they had a lot more in the week prior playing against Erodium. Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't show the, the best game they had. But it's still a pretty good team. Like, they're they're also undefeated as a Rodium. So they're right now they're top two in the league. So it's not easy playing against them. Only two teams are undefeated, and that's Ints and the Rodium. And they're gonna be going at each other next week. So that's one thing we wanna we we wanna see. I don't wanna I mean we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But yes, you know, losing against Ints, it's not uh, the end of the world. Orchid, you know, did pretty well, but they are still, you know, they're still with a losing, uh, in a losing record. They, they won one match, they have lost three matches. So even though they are top six, which is what they need to, you know, continue in the tournament, yep. uh, they're not looking that good, you know. They, 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 they I mean, record-wise, if you look at the record, that they're not looking that good. If you see them playing, you see, well, they, they could be doing something uh, to check up the, the rankings here. And that's also something that we might be talking, was watching, seeing uh, next week on week four. Uh, because they will be fighting or, or competing against uh, Lotus next match. And then on the last week, on week five, they have what we should be, you know, easier matches uh, against... Uh, Fantasy Death and Cryptic. So, who knows? Maybe, you know, what we're saying today, uh, Orchid number five, um, you know, might change uh, in the next few days. Because right now, I mean, Lotus is 3 1. So, so Orchid actually have to win everything that they have in front of them and hope for Lotus to lose everything they had in front of them <laughs> to, to beat them. Basically, that's the case. Yeah. Yeah, but Lotus Lotus has really tough matches. They haven't played they haven't played Ants or Erodium. So they have really tough matches. I think I, I don't see Erodium winning winning both of those matches. Maybe they can win one, but winning both of them would be would be just insane. So Lotus, yeah, has Erodium, has Ints. Uh I'm sorry. Uh Lotus has Yeah, Erodium and Ints on week five. And then Orchid on week four. So in order for them to stay top four, they have to beat Orchid for sure. You know, uh, yeah. or play amazingly against Ints and and um, and Erodium. And you know what? If if I'm Haber Camper, if I'm Juan, if I'm uh, a Firefox, I will be you know like saying, well, these guys are talking a little bit too much. You know, we we can't beat. We can beat Ints and we can beat uh, Erodium. Yeah, you know? he, of course they can. So, so it's it's a matter of I don't want to be I don't want to say that you know they can't. They haven't been showing that uh, in weeks in weeks one, two, and three. Well, maybe week three they look really good. You know, in in this week they, they, they looked amazing. They they look really good, but they you know we're they were competing against uh, G Factor, and we have been saying this. I've been saying that loudly. Like G Factor, you guys can attack, but you can't defend. It's it's a really you know bad spot for you guys because you don't you don't have the speed to defend against uh, these top four, top five teams, and you know yeah. they, they're still 
they're, st uh, they're still uh, winning less. You know, they, they haven't been able to win anything on the Grand Series. And like you said, learning. Yeah, the two. Yeah, this it's it's hard to 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 go to gauge to see like how well is the top four defined. I think it's uh, undoubted. Uh, it's undoubted that Rodio Mitz and Loki are part of the top four. We already know that. Mm -hmm. We just don't know if Lotus still has it in them. I think they do. I think they still have it in them. Just just ha like haven't found it yet. Next week against Orchid again, like we were saying, it's going to be the game to watch. It's going to be the game that's going to define if Orchid makes it into top four, maybe. Or if Lotus can still still play at their best game, like we've seen it before. Yeah, one thing we tend to do is that if we see a, a team doing really well against a Rodium, then we put them on the clouds and we say, oh, these guys can do anything. And they had a pretty good match against a Rodium, you know. Last they had an amazing match, yeah. But it was one day and that's it. So Lotus has been playing well for a long time, you know, really good for a long time. The thing is, you know, some teams have come up and we have seen, you know, more new teams get on their level but that doesn't mean that that arcade is actually on their level you know we, it's yet to be seen so that's you know the the really good thing about week four like, like, let's see let's see is arcade really there or is uh lotus still a force to be reckoned with so uh we'll see that's that's about it you know we, i can't say no more i don't i don't want to make any predictions i don't want to uh disrespect any, any of the teams i think arcade is playing really good but they are not finding the way to win I think Lotus has struggled, but they still, you know, they're still Lotus. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be hard, uh, of course, like like we've been saying. But Lotus is Lotus. Lotus is the the team with the most history out of all the teams in the in the Grand Series. So I'm expecting big things from from them. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so things we had this uh, this week, uh, week three. Cryptic still not playing up to their level. We're, we're, they're, they're still struggling and really bad. And, mm -hmm. and you know, it's it's uh, like they don't seem fast enough to play against top teams. They had a really bad matchup uh, against uh, Loki. They had the first good match, the first game, and that's it. That, that Everything else, yeah. you know, uh, we have to say... Card is the MVP. I don't. I don't think anyone has uh, any doubts about that. He scored, you know, uh, six goals in one match, then one more in in the in the last, last one, one, in the yeah. last one against Cryptic. Uh, but still, you know, Cryptic didn't find anything. They, they couldn't do anything. And, and you have to be able to stop Card at some point. You know, with Card, Card could be the, the the most amazing player in the world. But you still, I mean, if you want to be the best team, if you want to go to RLCS, you, you have to be able to stop him somehow. Yeah, it's hard seeing them like that. And again, it all comes down to, to week four. They're, they're playing like their direct rivals, G Factor Galaxy, for maybe a spot in the top six. going to be hard because they already lost against Fantasy Death. So it's not it's not easy for them to get that, that, that six spot. But again, week four is going to define maybe everything on, on the league. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. You know, if they, if they want to go to... Top six and they're tied. They finish tied to Fantasy Death. They're gonna lose because they they already lost to Fantasy Death. So they yeah. have to, you know, win everything that is uh, in front of them. Well, maybe not everything. I mean, let let's see Fantasy Death's um, schedule. Next match for them is G Factor. So they might be able able to win that one. Um, and other than that, man, Orchid. that's Orchid. I don't I don't think they're gonna win that one so so what you're saying is cryptic has to win all three matches that they have in front of them which is g factor they might be able to win that one but then they have ints which is you know going against a titan and then you have orchid which might be able to do it but still even if you do it you're still tied so yeah uh it, it's a no win situation for you if you're cryptic you have to win all three matches and again yeah the only the only way there might be a chance is, is if Fantasy Death loses against G Factor next week, but that's not not likely to happen with what been what we've been seeing from both teams. Right, they will have to lose against them, and then Cryptic win two matches. 
which they can do still still very, pretty hard very hard still yeah. hard still hard the, the way that orchid is playing you know it's it's hard to to beat them um but not impossible though i mean i mean critic was the dark horse from the beginning we we know they have the the skills i think they are not performing i don't know why i really don't know why uh i thought they had played before and they were doing you know pretty good but i don't i don't know what it, something is not clicking with them and i can't seem mm -hmm. to figure it out yeah that's that's just it basically cryptic has to win they didn't look good again against Erodium. It, it was like the same story that they had against Loki. They had a good first game and then just everything went downhill. I don't mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, they just, they have it really hard. And it's one of those teams that, you know, we have deep in our hearts because most of the teams are from Brazil. That's yeah. one of those teams that even though they flashy is from Brazil, you know, uh, same Panzaro are from Argentina, so uh, the Spanish-speaking community really wants them to win a match, and they're struggling, man. They're really, really, really struggling. Um, the and you know the same the same thing goes for G Factor. Those are the two teams that have Spanish speakers uh, player players, and they haven't been able to win anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the the only way I see Cryptic getting out of this is like. G Factor has to win 3-0 against Fantasy Death, then Cryptic 3-0 against G Factor, and all teams will be tied. But every team would have beat beaten the other one 3-0, okay. you know? It's, so it's like a three-way tie, and maybe they can get a little help with the tiebreakers, but it's gonna be really hard. Okay. So let's see you know things are getting worse and it's it's only five five weeks that's it you know five weeks and we're done so we are more than halfway for most teams uh right now i think everyone has four games so yeah yeah everyone is more than halfway except for erodium that's the only game, team that uh has three matches so far no they have four they have four i'm looking yeah. at the i'm looking right here Yep. No, they play. They play. Yep, 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 yep. They have four. They have yeah. four. They have four. My, okay, bad. Okay, My okay. bad. My bad. My bad. I didn't refresh this. Uh, the, the Wikipedia. By the way, you can go to Wikipedia and find all the information here, for, uh, right there, of the grind series. Uh, what are the matches for next week? Uh, standings uh, and the MVPs for every single week. So that's uh, a lot of information right there for you guys. Uh, yes you know, to complement with whatever we're saying here. So, I think we should talk about next week, you know. We got Erodium, Erodium yeah. Ints. One team will lose, you know, their... Um, unbeaten status. Unbeaten yeah. status, yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, right now, like, if you ask me on week one, I would say Erodium wins, win, win it, wins it. Yeah. Uh, Int has been has been playing really well. Like the thing is, Erodium's play style is flashier. Like, like they, they look better. They, they they look so pretty doing their stuff. Yep. Int gets dirty. They 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 do things that are maybe unpredictable and they get away with it. Like they, they might lose two games and then still you know uh, reverse sweep it. It's it's weird. It's weird because you can never count them out. It's maybe maybe Happy is not doing everything right, and then Matty will come up, on, you know, with something, and and the game is tied at the end, and BJ will you know find a way to to score. It's it's weird to I can't count them out. You know, they Happy wasn't playing like this when he was in La Kimica. You, you know, we talk about yeah. we talked about Loki being a better team with Rena now and without Happy. But Reppy now is playing different. I don't, I don't, I don't feel it, this is the same Reppy. I don't, I don't feel it at all. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. And I, I, I think I was I, I was talking with about this with with another person. I I don't remember. But actually, like Loki is playing into two teams, made the scene even better. Because mm -hmm. I don't know how it worked, but the two teams are better, better than than the previous. Yeah, than like United team. Than like yeah, than the yeah. previous United team. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. That is amazing. Yes, yes. So I don't, I don't want to make any predictions here, but still, I don't think you know it was, this will be the end for any of those. I mean, like right now they are unbeaten, so they are fighting for that 
top two spot to go to RLCS, you know, kind of, kind of. The playoffs is the one that decides everything. But still, you yep. know, creating the hype. But I don't think, like, if Herodium beats Int right now, that doesn't mean that Int won't be able to beat them on the on the playoffs. I mean, it, it depends on how it goes. A lot of things depends on how it goes. If, if it's a 3-2 series, then that doesn't say anything. If it's a 3 nothing series with all matches going, you know, overtime or just one goal difference, yeah, it doesn't say anything. It, you just it, can't know, yeah. It, the only way we can know is if it's a blowout. And I don't, I don't feel like we're going to be watching blowouts. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Also, I don't think that's gonna happen with the next match Rodim has against Loki later right. in the in the in the week. That match is gonna be that's that's gonna be insane. I, I don't I don't have another word to describe it. The the, the, the match of the gods, basically, because you're gonna have math yeah. right there against Card, and let's see who can do better. Uh, it, it's it's the, the is the toughest week for Erodium. Is the most interesting week of the of the whole five weeks we have here in the Grand Series. Uh, just to see Erodium really fight against big names because they have been winning uh, pretty easily. But I mean, except with Orchid, they, they had a tough time with Orchid. But everything else has has been pretty easy. So next week will tell us you know like if they're really you know if they're really the best team like we have been saying because we've been saying that all time you know this is the best team of south america um on paper and you know they yeah. have shown us on the on the past but they haven't fought they haven't struggled against well at least in the grand series they they, they might have but they haven't shown us in the grand series you know what they can do against ints they haven't shown us what they can do against low key so that's you know Amazing. Yeah. It, it's going to be amazing. Er Erodium, er Erodium is just that. That's it. They haven't played any teams from the top four yet. Mm -hmm. They haven't played any teams from the top four. It's going to be interesting how they how they can handle those games because I'm, I'm, I'm expecting game five, both of them. It, it is something that will, you know, help us see how they'll, they'll do in the RLCS if they manage to get there. Yep. Because... I think everyone, you know, like I listened here and there a little bit uh, from the English uh, broadcast, from the Portuguese broadcast, and a lot of people have a lot of faith in Int and in Loki because they have fought against the best, the better teams. You know, you see a Rodium and they look good, but they look against, I don't, you know, I'm gonna say lesser teams, quote unquote. So you can't make a judgment uh, based on that. Uh, the fans say that they like a Rodium, they they play really well. But at the same time, you know, will they do well in in the land? Will they do well in the RLCS? I think this uh, next week will tell us, you know, a little bit more if they're ready or not. And and one thing I I, I like to see, you know, I like to see game uh, teams winning by a lot. You know, that's that's fun. You know, like well, they're, they're powerful. They 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 can win by a, by a big margin. But also teams that are struggling in in the first half and they manage to come back. That's something that tells me a lot about the team. Like they, they have the mental fortitude. They can overcome adversities and stuff like that. Because you're, you're not gonna be playing well every single time. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. You know, you, you have yeah. bad times. You have bad moments, and and you have to overcome those. So, we'll see. We'll see. Now, we also said you know we get Cryptic and G Factor Galaxy. One of those teams will have their fir first win, and. Again, it's important for them if they want to climb out of the of the bottom uh, two. Yeah, yeah, bottom two. But still, you know, I don't see it. I don't see it. They they haven't play, been playing, you know, any rocket league rocket league at all. That that let me let me think that they will be able to, you know. Not only have that one that one win, but have a, another one, and you know, and keep climbing a little bit more. It's late in the season too. It's really late. Yeah, they haven't shown much game at all. I mean, those last two matches from that week are basically gonna decide who's going into top six from those three teams. There's only one spot for for them, or maybe maybe the the Orchid loses next week. I don't know. I don't see it happening. It can happen, but but I think Wickford's like gonna be defining almost everything for all teams. 
Definitely, definitely. It's gonna be, you know, it will it will lay out uh, the rankings and everything uh, for for the playoffs, and it, it's gonna be, you know, I don't think we're gonna have any surprises because the worst thing that could happen is that Ince beats uh, Erodium and the Loki beats Erodium, and that that would I wouldn't call that a surprise. Like we know they can do it. We we really yep. know they can do it. Uh, it's gonna be shocking to some people but it's not, i mean i i know i know that loki feels like they can beat erodium no it's not gonna be easy i mean they can't be fooling them, themselves and saying ah we got this you know it's gonna be easy we, we have really good chances well it's gonna be a tough one but i know they can do it and, and they know they can do it so uh it, it's gonna be um uh, we have seen it before but i have seen it like th uh, four times now but it's gonna be the, the week to watch so it's only five matches next week it's uh it's gonna be like probably a shorter stream but i don't think it's gonna be as short this time because all games were three nothing so i'm expecting <laughs> yeah. some more uh five games yeah uh, it's gonna be matches this the, the fourth week is gonna be the best week to watch it's gonna have only five matches but i think all five matches are gonna, are gonna be really close like all of them and i actually the the, the most hype i'm, I'm uh, like the most hype matches for me to watch are gonna be both the rodium games first because First one is like Ints, they're, they're looking really good, like they look a little bit shaky in the planes, mm -hmm. they, they weren't playing that good, and then first week they played amazing, second week the same thing, third week the same thing, they're playing really good Rocket League, and I want to see if they can they can keep going with it, because I'm really hyped about them, and I also want to watch Erodium versus Loki, because I, I still think Loki can make it to, to RMCS, but they have to show it in the match. That match is gonna show it if they can really have, like, like if they can really have the skill to get to that point. Right. So that's it. I, I don't think we can add any more uh, about it. Rodeo matches, amazing. Lotus against Orchid, it's interesting. Let's see what happens right there. And then you know the bottom three teams will will be fighting against each other. Uh, well, G Factor has a, a match against. Uh, Fantasy Death and against Cryptic. So that's the best week for G Factor 2. So guys, you know, please, please work on your defense. You you gotta do that. You know, their their rotating is the rotation is not too good for for defense. So guys, you, you, you gotta, you know, start looking at it. And next week is a week to see, you know, if, if you really have a chance to to keep growing or if you haven't learned anything from from the previous uh, tougher matches, I think I, th I really hope to see a better G factor next week. So let's see. Um, man, I think that's it. We, we don't have too much uh, much more to cover. Yeah, right this here. week just went just went by really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's I mean, it. I think maybe maybe uh, well to to add up a little thing like at the end, maybe we can talk about the insane amount of goals we saw this week. It was crazy. Uh, and that's why we have Card as a as an MVP, because yeah. he had this week's MVP is Card definitely. He had seven goals in the first three matches against Cryptic, right? Did he or did, did he have more uh, on the? He didn't have anything on the first one, I think. So I think I think he only had he had six on the second match, and he had one on the last one. I think and that was it. Uh, yeah. Card had what was it? Nineteen goals in six games. But yeah, yeah on the next series uh, against um, Fantasy Death, he had twelve goals in total on the. On yeah, he had twelve goals in that one. In the first one, he had seven goals. That that's if you have it. If you had it on, on your fantasy team, you're you're happy. You're making money. <laughs> you're banking. You're banking on this week. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, he was really good doing some plays by himself. He he was, you know, he was. But a lot of the plays were Tander and Renan yeah, making passes, course. good passes for him. Of course, I, like you always have to keep in mind, it's not the best players that win; it's the best team that wins. Mm -hmm. And Loki was playing amazingly. All all players were playing really good, but but you you could see like t towards the end of the series, players were just leaving the ball for a card. They wanted him to score more goals, more, more goals. So 
of course, Card played really well, but his teammates played a huge part in it. Yeah, and we have always said, you know, Card is the most offensive player on that team. Tander was trying to get there. I think I think he was forcing himself to be more offensive uh, at some point. Like, he was trying, you know, to go for those... Uh, um, dribbling air dribbles and and stuff like that it it's not that he's not good he i mean he can do it but i think card is a little bit better on that so they stop forcing those plays and they are now feeding each other uh, you know like well i can i can give you the ball i can i can take away one or two defenders and then pass you the ball against only one and make it easier on you and, and that's you know it's it's becoming beautiful to watch them watch them play you know i think i think they are it's more mature. They are maturing as a, as players. As players, I like yeah. Yeah, I like it. I really, I really like it. I think the Loki we saw on week one that had a hard time against Ints is not the same Loki we we are watching now. Yeah. And the same thing can be said about Ints. Yeah, both teams just improved a lot from the first week. Like Ints was looking maybe a bit better, but both both teams are raising the bar more and more. Like like each week passing by they're they're getting better and that's really good but we have we have to still talk about it like matt didn't have the best week he didn't score as much goals as, we, as we've seen and he still has more than two goals per game well i mean math is not gonna score six goals every single time you know he's not he's not gonna do that but he's still a very strong attacker he that's what they have in what that's you know that's his role on the team. His attack is is go for the ball and you know hit the ball two three times, uh, get crazy in the air, let people I mean break the the defense and then score or pass. You know and, and make it easy on their teammates. So he he's really good at that and you know he's he's done enough damage in the past. You know he still has a huge average a goal average per uh, per game. He's still banking on uh, you know writing that that. Uh, <sighs> that goal differences uh, that he had before. So it's with math scoring a lot or without math scoring a lot. Yeah, they, they, just they can't can do win. something. Yeah. They can, they they can, can win. win any any time they can be winning. Mm -hmm. Kyle was looking really good this this week. I actually think was his best week that I've seen me on, on the on the pitch. Mm -hmm. This 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 grand series he's been playing a lot. A, a, a lot better this week. Not not a lot better. I, I would say it's, it's just like he's participating a bit more because mm -hmm. he know that Math maybe wasn't having his best week. He 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 scored like ten goals. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he had he, he wasn't having his best week. And Bolton Kaya just showed up and made made everything happen basically. Maybe teams are focusing too much on Math now. Yeah. Maybe they are. Maybe they said, "Wait, well, if math, if if math is going for the ball, we gotta do something about it." And maybe Caio and Vault are what you know they have more open, more openings, so they can take advantage of that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think, I, I I think this was expect, expected. People are you know focusing a little bit too much on math and with good reasons, but. You can't, you can't just say, well, Vault and Caio are not a threat. You know, they are a huge threat. Yeah. Anyway, I think we, we got it for uh, for today. Uh, keep watching the Grand Series. It's going to be stream, streamed live in three languages. We got the Portuguese language uh, stream, the English stream, and the Spanish stream. And we have five good matches next week and then six final matches on week five. And that's it. We're going to be done with league play. We're going to go to the playoffs and we're going to be deciding who is going to auto CS from South America. So exciting weeks where yep. we are near the end. And, you know, guys, you don't want to miss this because it's history. You know, we are paving the way to auto CS. Uh, from South America. And this is it. This is that is it. Way to finish it with a typo in my mouth. Okay, guys, take care. <laughs> <laughs> typo in my mouth. See ya.